Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a, a wake up call video because I hear a lot of people saying that uh, Biden is certainly going to lose the November 2024 election. And uh, I'm gonna tell you guys, uh, that's we thought that that uh, Democrats were gonna lose the midterms, okay? And uh, where do we stand right now? We stand with a one seat majority in the House, okay? so. Uh, and that's after the Afghanistan, the disastrous Afghanistan withdrawal, um, you know, so, so, you know, for people to say, when people are saying that, you know, Biden's a goofball, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's an idiot, he's this and that, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go down a list of things that you got, that I think you guys need to be aware of. Um, number one. 60% of Americans are corrupt like Biden, okay? So when they look at Biden, okay, and his and his dysfunctional family, okay, they relate to that. Okay? They say, hey, that's us, okay? Um, you know, so 60% of Americans are comfortable with the Biden corruption. And, and these, uh, these Republicans think that they're going to keep, you know, throwing more and more evidence out there that Biden took money from, uh, you know, from, from China, from Russia, from Ukraine, from here and there and the other place. You know something? Everybody knows that stuff already, okay? 60% um, of Americans are, are okay with that. They, you, know, you know, they're interested in other stuff that we're going to talk about below, okay? Uh, but that's the first thing you got to be aware of, that 60% of Americans are corrupt and they can relate to the Biden corruption, okay? They say, hey, he's just like us, okay? Um, next thing, 60% of Americans like killing babies, okay? That's a, that's a priority for about 60% of Americans, right? They kind of hang on that. Um, so you can't change that, okay? That, that's, that's just a reality. And one of the things I've got down here, I'm going to come back to again later, is that Republicans need to stop trying to save the children of Democrats, okay? Um, nobody benefits at least on our side, we don't benefit by Democrats reproducing more and creating more Democrats, okay? Um, so, 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 you know, 60% of Americans like killing babies, and it's like Republicans are trying to stop Democrats from hurting themselves. For what point? I mean, look, you know what? Let them kill their kids. I mean, it's not worth losing elections over. Democrats want to kill babies. 60% of Americans want to kill babies. Um, trying to stop them is, is hurting us. It's, it's not helping us, okay? Um, uh, next thing. Okay, women fear rape babies, okay? So even if you talk to conservative women, church-going women, okay, a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them will tell you that that even though they're against abortions, if they are raped, they would not want to carry to term the child of a rapist, okay? So there's this, you know, we had a very good governor or, or potential governor running for office here in Pennsylvania, and, you know, his stance was, you know, absolutely no abortions, even in the case of, you know, rape or incest, and I think he lost the election on that, okay? You know, clearly that stance it was not worth it. You know, uh, lots of women, including conservative women, um, you know, would want to carve out that exception. Okay, so I'm, I'm not taking a stand here for or against. Okay, I, all I'm saying is that that even amongst Republican women, you know, they they kind of draw the line there. They don't. They would not want to carry to term the child of of a rapist. Okay. Um, you know, and, and I think we've lost a lot of elections because of that hard stance that a lot of Republicans take. Okay? Uh, next thing to be aware of, okay? For a lot of Americans, okay, welfare is a priority, okay? Uh, people that get welfare, the only thing they care about is that next welfare check, okay? Uh, they don't care about what Biden is doing in Ukraine or Israel or if he himself is getting money from Russians or Chinese or whatever. Okay, as long as they get their wealth check, okay, their welfare check, 
that's a huge part of America. Okay? Those are lots of Americans that get those welfare checks, and that's what they hang on. Okay? Um, next thing, okay? there's a very large government workforce. Okay? So the government has been continually growing and growing and growing. Okay? And, uh, you know, those people that work for government, right, they want more government. Okay? To them, bigger government means a bigger paycheck. Okay? It means promotions. So there's, there's a, a huge section of the American population that works for government in one way or another, okay? Um, you know, somewhere up and down the scale, and they want more government, okay? So, again, all those people are going to vote for Democrats, okay? So that's also something that we got to deal with, okay? Next thing, we got the military and the military-industrial complex, which, again, live off of government, okay? Um, so, you know, a lot, a lot of times I hear people say, hey, I was in the military and I'm a conservative. Yeah, that's you here and now, okay? Um, the United States military has pretty much run out most of the conservatives, okay? Uh, they've, they've, they've instituted a lot of these uh, Democrat policies to intentionally run out conservatives. So, a lot of the people that are in the military now, okay, are, they come from cities, the Democrat-leaning people, okay? Uh, they support Democrat policies. They look at Biden as a good guy, okay? So, so the, and plus the military-industrial complex, you know, I mean, this war going on in Ukraine and, and, and Israel, that's big business for them, okay? So they want more of this war. People that make money off of war don't want peace, Okay. So, again, this is what we're up against, okay? I'm not saying that any of this is good. I'm just saying this is what we're up against. I think we need to look at the reality of what lots of people, what I think at least 60% of America is, okay? Um, next thing, police work for government, okay? Because a lot of times people will say, hey, the police in my town are conservatives and they're pro-Second Amendment and that, that, okay? Small town police are exactly that, small. They're, they're you know... They, they might be vocal, you might hear some good things from them, but the police in the cities, right, they work for Democrats, they get paid, they get paid by Democrats, uh, they're going to vote for Democrats, okay, um, and it doesn't matter if at times they're not satisfied, you know, most, for example, New York City police, right, they're not going to vote for small government because that means them losing their jobs, okay. New York City police, despite the fact that, you know, maybe they get beat up from time to time in the streets, they're going to vote for, God, for for Democrats, okay? So police work for Democrats. The, the nature of, 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 of any government work is really socialism, okay? So all these people that work for government, they're going to support bigger government, okay? Um, the union ties, okay? So Democrats and unions uh, for a long time, because basically, here's the thing, um, People like myself that are self-employed, okay, you know, obviously I don't, I don't need government. I make my own deals. Uh, the, the tendency for lots of unions, not the, the union bosses, tend to side with Democrats. Okay, uh, they tend to tell their union members to vote for Democrats, and there's plenty of examples that I'm aware of where they they go against their union and they vote for what you know whoever they want, but. Again, this is something that we're fighting against. You've got the unions pushing Democrats, okay? Um, you got lots of corporations with big government contracts, okay? So all these corporations, like let's say like General Electric, right? They build like, uh, I think, nuclear engines for submarines, right? Um, obviously, those people want more government, okay? Um, you know, a, a lot of these large corporations that do business with government want more government, okay, so again, they're looking at Biden as a good thing, right, they, to them, it's like, you know, you know, they don't care about the corruption as long as they get those contracts, okay, so, so, so this is what we're, we're up against, okay, um, and it, it's a lot, this is, this is a lot to try and fight against, okay, so again, this is just kind of like a reality check, because if, if you go to a lot of these, um, uh, conservative or, or, or pro or anti-democrat party um, uh, channels like let's say like Fox News or, or some of the other ones right you're gonna hear them 
you know, the way they sound, it's like Democrats have no chance, okay? Um, I think that, like, you know, particularly state, you know, like uh, news networks like Fox News, you know, they, um, they, they cater to, let's say, a more conservative base. Uh, so they're going to tell their people, the people that watch them, what they want to hear, okay? Because um, the other people are going to go to the other networks, right? Like the Democrats are going to go to CNN. So with Fox, it's like, okay, we've got like a niche here with these conservatives. They're going to tell, they're going to tell them what they want to hear, okay? So if people want to hear that Democrats are going to lose, that's what, what Fox News is going to say. Um, I'm looking at the reality here and I'm seeing like there's, there's a lot of things that we got to, that we got to put, you know, we, that we're working against, okay? Um, so, I mean, what can Republicans do to, to push back against this? Now, I'm not saying this because I think Republicans are good. I, I, I'm saying this because I'm interested in Republicans winning as I'm, as I'm more interested in stopping Democrats from staying in power, okay? Uh, Republicans, okay, number one, need to stop trying to save the children of Democrats, okay? That's, that's not their job. Okay? Republicans need to look after their own kids, okay? Um, I look after my kids. I don't try to, you know, I, I mean, I, I feed, I protect my kids. I, would not, I don't try to save the children of Democrats, okay? Not my job, okay? So Republicans need to adopt that policy. They need to take care of their kids and, and, and let Democrats do whatever they want to do with their kids, okay? Uh, at least until they, they get, like, back in power, okay? Maybe if you win, they win the presidency, they win, you know, both the, both the House and the Senate. You know, maybe at that point they can start pushing their, you know, anti-abortion positions. But until they get there, you know, they, they need to, they got other things they got, they can talk about. Right? They, they need to stop trying to save the children, Democrats. And again, the last thing that we need is more Democrats coming into this world. Um, uh, oh, and the last thing, okay, Democrats, you know, um, a lot of times, Demo uh, uh, rather Republicans, a lot of times Democrats will come out and they'll say uh, they want to spend money on this, they want to spend money on that, and, and what that translates into, they want to give money to this group of people because that group of people votes for them, or they want to give money to that group of people because that group of people votes for them, okay, um, or they want to forgive the debt of this group of people because again they that group votes for them okay so republicans will stand up and they'll say no you can't do that no you can't do this no you can't do that okay so what they're doing there right and, and here's the thing the democrats know because they're, they're putting up these they're taking these ridiculous positions like for given let's say the student debt okay they know that it'll never pass okay they're completely satisfied with the Democrats are completely satisfied with taking this student debt forgiveness position, okay, knowing that Republicans will come in and stop it, okay, and Democrats are now in a position to say, hey, we tried, okay, we tried to forgive your debt, and um, what happens is the, you know, the, the, the Republicans end up looking like the bad guys, okay. What makes more sense, the better approach to say, is fine, you want to forgive the student debt, Okay, fine. You know what? We want to forgive mortgage debt. We want to forgive auto loan debt, right? We want to forgive, you know, in other words, it makes more sense to counter a ridiculous position with an even more ridiculous position, okay? Um, because if Republicans say, fine, you can forgive the student debt, but we need to forgive all the home mortgages across the entire United States, okay? So now that's a position that Democrats aren't going to go along with, okay? So... Now, so instead of saying no to, you know, that group of people over there, they need to take another position that's even more ridiculous and let the Democrats basically back off, okay? So, uh, you know, a lot, of it's, is, a lot of it just comes down to optics, okay? You know, there's, different, there's two ways they can stop this. They can stop it by telling the Democrats, no, you're not doing that, or yes, you can have that, but we want this other ridiculous thing over here, okay? Um, you know, and now... The, the Democrats are in a position where they got to say, no, you can't forgive the, the, the whole mortgage debt of the entire United States. Uh, and since we're not doing that, we, you, know, you know, and now it's like, hey, we couldn't do, we, we couldn't give you the student loan forgiveness because if we gave you the student loan forgiveness, we would have to forgive the student loan debt, the, the whole mortgage debt of the entire United States. The people that wanted that 
that student debt forgiveness, they're not going to understand how ridiculous the other posi position was, right? They're just going to know that, hey, Democrats didn't agree to this. So if that's going to end up making the Democrats look bad versus the other way around where the, uh, they end up taking, making the Republicans look bad. And what, what this does is it drives a wedge uh, between the Democrats and their base. Okay? And that's really the smart way to approach this. Um, so, yeah. so my thoughts on that, and like I said, I just want to do a reality check because if you, you know, when you look on the news, you look on Fox News and it's like a sure thing, Republicans are going to win. And that's what I heard back during the midterms. And um, you know what? I, you know, fool me once, you know how it goes. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I, I'm not buying it. I mean, I'm looking at this list over here and um, I think it's going to be very hard to, um, you know, to convince all these people here, right, that, that, have a vested interest with voting with Biden to not go vote for Biden. Okay. So just be aware of reality, guys. Talk to you all soon.